Hello, 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 and welcome to the Interracial Alternative. I'm going to thank all of my subscribers, new and old, and I'm going to ask that the returning visitors go ahead and click that subscribe button, okay? Okay. So, I wanted to do this video because um, of like the current dating climate. I've done a few videos already, and there's a lot of people online who talk about um, how bad the dating climate is, but you know, I think I have a different point of view, okay? So it's like, I guess I'll title this video, um, what it's like to be single in 2022. Okay, I was, I'm, well, I, my last committed relationship was maybe about seven months ago, and then I was in something I thought was a little bit serious, and then it kind of tanked. Um, and what I know from being, I always have someone in my life. <clears throat> right. Um, and then people tend to come back in and out of your life, but I still consider myself single, not in a relationship, not committed. So what is it like to be not committed in 2022? Um, it feels peaceful. I'm just gonna be honest with you and it's the internet. I'm just gonna be honest with you all. Um, what does it feel like to be single as a woman? I have to say that it feels really good to wake up with peace. Um, I need, I'm the type of woman, I need stability and I need security. And if I can't have that with another person, I have to be alone. I have to be by myself because I need an equilibrium and I can't be with chaos. So there's even certain types of people I can't date. There's certain signs that I can't date because they're just all over the place and that works for them, but it doesn't work for me. It would drive me crazy. So even online, when I date online, I'm like, what's your sign? I like go through it because I can't date chaotic people. Um, but like I said, some people do well with organized confusion. You know, maybe, you know, they're, that's how they get their inspiration. That's how they can find their muse. That's how they um, find their creative voice. But for me, it doesn't work like that. I like stability. I like um, I like stability. I like security. I like going down a certain path and kind of knowing what the destination is. I don't like let's wing it. Um, I don't like uh, let's just let's just hang out. Let's just do this. I don't really do that. I don't really live that way at all um that's why i don't really have casual relationships um if if something starts out casual and it doesn't end up committed it has to go that's just kind of how i operate and that's just me and i know that i'm not for everyone and that's a beauty it's sort of like a beauty in that when you know who you are and you know the type of people that you you fit well with and the people you don't fit well with and that only comes in time with experience, really it does, and a, a hell of a lot of self-awareness. So, um, like I said, I wake up every morning, I get my peace, I go to bed at night, I get my peace, I get, you know, I don't go to bed with anybody on my mind, I go to bed with my goals on my mind. Um, if I wanted to get a dog, I mean, I could get a dog or something like that, but, um, situations and relationships when they get too dramaful they typically have to go or they're typically on their way out i can't function in anything like that and i'm I, I, you can almost say i'm forever getting rid of people um or putting people on time out we can say i put people on time out because um sometimes people need a break and they need to get their lives together because i'm not going to do it for them um so that's that, but um, how does it feel? It's like, you know, there's a great feeling when you, I mean, just like, I mean, just an exuberance, if I can use that as a word. An exuberance. When you know that you don't have any, like really, re no real residue with a person, it's like, okay, a, a, a relationship can be broken and you can do all the smudging and saging and get all that energy out of there that they created and you can move on to the next person. You don't have a child with them. You know, that's why you have to be so strategic when you deal with people, not to have a child with them. Um, and even even with marriages, new new modern marriages today, 
You have to have everything in writing. You have to have clauses in your contracts, in your marriage contract. You got to include if you give me an STD, if you cheat, if you do this, if you if you run up all the money, if you do this. I mean, there's everything is so much more complicated in 2022 than it has ever been. You know, if you don't check your mental illness, you got to go. I mean, there's a whole laundry list nowadays that people will have to abide by in relationships or in marriages. At least there should be, you know, or else you're winging it. And see, I don't believe in winging it. Um, life is too short. And I've had the beauty of being in wonderful long-term relationships. And I'm, I'm very well with being on my own. I lived in all those countries alone that I've lived in. And um, I've done very well. I am a survivor. I don't need a man to survive. I don't need family or friends to survive. I can move to a place and I can make it my own. I can uh, draw people from that environment, foreign as it may be to me. I can learn from it. I can become one with the earth. That's something special to me and that's a blessing to me. Um, I think that when you are dependent upon other human beings, that's when problems come in and that's the beginning of the end. Um, you know, and this is a relationship channel, but I have to keep it real. And I keep drilling that the first love that you have to have is the love that you have for yourself. That is so important. Um, knowing that if you fall in love with this one person that in that relationship is that you can move on. Like I said, you can smudge and sage the hell out of that energy and, and cut that bond or cut that tie. On a spiritual level, you can do all that and get them the hell up out your life and out of your aura field and your energy and astral body and all that other good stuff. Um, you can do that and, and move on and <laughs> move on to another country, another part of the planet if you need to. Um, that is real and that is a beauty and a joy of being able to do that and not be, not be psychologically or emotionally or astrally and all of that spiritually stuff tied to people and sometimes we do get tied to people like that sometimes we it's like a rabbit hole we meet a person and we know that we're instantly hooked and being with them is a rabbit hole within itself um that that's true and that's real um however when that goes sour the thing about that is that that link is still there that link is still there um you know, that's why, you know, they always warn people about, you know, intercourse with people because uh, there's a spiritual tie that sometimes can link. And, and that's how you have this whole phenomenon of people being whipped. It happens to men and women. Uh, they, become, you know, they have intercourse with a certain person and, you know, um, those really those energy fields link up in a way that probably never linked up before. And so you become in trance in in trapped or entangled with the uh with the other person and um you can't let go fortunately i've never been in a situation like that my entire life in all my years and i'm a couple of eons old um so um i don't think it can happen to me because i don't i'm not that carnally uh based um i mean but i can understand how it can happen to certain people but I don't have a void that a person, that a man can feel like that for me. Um, that's not my love language. So um, it's, it's not gonna happen. If it hasn't happened, it's not gonna happen. Um, but, and plus I have self-esteem too. So, you know, you can only mistreat me or, or you know, talk crazy to me for a bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then um, you gotta go. So, um, like I said, there's a beauty in being able to get a dog and not have to have your child when you act a fool and uh, when you decide you want to be single again and and, and um, uh, we can't be single but you want to be single again and, I, and we can't be single because I still have your child. There's a beauty in that situation never ever occurring, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I'm thinking about getting a dog, you know, but I'm gonna save the dog for the house. You know, we're just coming soon, next year, next year. Um, however, um, I just, uh, in a dog, you gotta walk the dog, but that's why you need a house, that's why you need a house. You so the dog can play around in the yard and you just clean up later. Um, but um, there's so much freedom, like emotional 
is spiritual freedom and singleness that I think that is not spoken about, especially in the world that we live in today. Um, like I say, and I talk probably too much about this on my channel, but mental illness is on the rise. And I think it'll almost get to a point where it's contagious. And certain emotions are contagious. I think happiness can be contagious, sadness can be contagious, and depression can definitely be contagious. And if you get with the wrong person, you get with the wrong person and you link up with them on some other level, but their psyche or their spiritual energy isn't correct, you will be stuck in this game. You will be stuck up in this game. And see, and that's why, you know, certain people, they're always like, well, you know, why are you still single, this and that? Because I have a, I have boundaries and set limitations, you know. It's not just about the superficial things of whether he's money, how old he is, or where he lives, his background. But there's a spiritual thing that has to be, there's a spiritual uh, checklist that has to be met too. You know, we have to, we have to be whole together. We have to be in sync. There has to be, um, a, 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 a symb it has to be a symbiotic connection. You know, it has to be a dance. You know what I'm saying? And if, and if it's not, then it can't work, you know? And it's not like you're asking for everything. You're asking for the moon. Oh, you're just asking for too much. It's not really that. I have the gift of foresight. Like I said, I've called recessions. I've called all types of, of situations. I've called personal situations with people. I've called people's relationships. I just have the gift of foresight. I do, I do. Um, I was born that way. Thank you, please and thank you. And um, I can tell also, I have the same gift of foresight for myself. And I can tell where if I'm with a certain person, I'm like, man, this is gonna go down there. Flames. I, I, I link up with you too long, it's gonna go down in flames. If I link up with you too long, I can imagine us being together and I can just imagine being miserable. You know, I can imagine, you know what I'm saying? When your mind takes you there, instead of you just being in complete bliss, I can just see this person just dominating me and I can just see this person. And I'm and I, I am speak, thinking of a particular person, not all men, just a particular person, but you know, you can just, when you think about a person, you be like, man, I can just see you dominating me. I can just see you being miserable. I can see you talking crazy to me. I can see you losing your damn mind. I'm sitting up there cleaning up the kitchen or I'm, I'm in certain parts of the house to get away from you. I can just see that. I have that foresight and that's why I'm just like, you know, you're like, this isn't gonna work. You know, it's not gonna work. But some people are great for friends and, and you know, you, you shared a connection with them at some point in your life However, they're not meant for the long haul. And that's what I said. We always, we have to get on our spiritual game and start to realize who is there for the now and who is there for the future. We, a lot of times we, we I don't know what's going on with us emotionally, but we label everyone a true, a twin flame and a damn soulmate. Everyone is not your twin flame or your soulmate. Your twin flame can possibly be from another country and not speak your language, okay? That's how deep that spiritual stuff is, okay? But your soulmate, a lot of times people get together with people and because you get along and things like that and you're compatible and you want the same things, you're like, oh, that's my soulmate. Well, they say you got more than one soulmate. They say you got tons of soulmates. I think my ex was one of my soulmates. But when he, he left, I didn't cling on to him. I didn't bust his windows out. I didn't slash his tire. I didn't say you have to get back here. I didn't do any of that. You understand what I'm saying? I let him go. Why? Because what is it, like 3,500 males on this planet? I, so I think at least one or two of them out of all of this on the planet, and I travel, I get to my travel own, um, they have to at least be one of my, a, a soulmate. Two of them at least have to be my soulmates. So if one do this and then the other one, and then again, if I don't find that one, if I don't get uh, impregnated, um, like I said, the, the pound, the, the adoption center always has dogs, okay? Okay, because um, pushing something out through me, I don't know, honey. I, like I said, I had a stroke already. I don't know if I want to push anything out through my orifices. Okay, my orifices. I don't think I want to do that. Um, I'm just keep. I'm coming clean now. I'm coming clean. Confessions, confessions. I don't think um, I want uh, you know. Give me a little Sparky, give me a little Yorkie, little dog, man, yeah, yeah. And oh, okay, now you want to go out? Okay, good for you. Um, 
I would be happy without that um, because I just wasn't I wasn't one of those people who created um, who was created uh, to necessarily lean on another person I think I'm such a person and entity that I do well by myself and that's a blessing to me some people are created they, they have such a thing to do or they have such a path in life that their path is for them to be single. Not everyone is to be married, you know? Marilyn Monroe died single. Um, uh, Sheriff, well, she's single now, I think, unless she's going on 15th husband. Uh, Madonna, well, she's probably at a 14th. Uh, um, but she probably gonna end up alone. She's a Leo, she's probably gonna end up alone. I'm just joking, but you know Leos, you know y'all have about 1,500, 1500 husbands um, in life. Uh, at least in this life. But um, point being is that some people are better off alone. and um, Or some people are, if they don't find their perfect fit, they can survive very well on their own and they can kind of turn up. They can, they, can, they can turn up whatever area they're in and they can probably devote that area to a cause in life. You know, I have a cause that I'm going to devote myself to, you know, in time. Time. But um, that's how I feel, you know. That's the beauty of being single in 2022. And um, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've, like I said, I've, I've had the beauty of being in relationships. And the thing about them is when, you know, when they work, they can be beautiful. But the thing of it is, is what you think is beautiful may not be what that other person thinks is beautiful. That person may tell you that they're happy and may be miserable and as all hell. You know, a lot of times there's people don't say things or communication is is, is, is trash in relationships or people hide things. And you just kind of never know if, if we're happy. You know, that whole thing of, oh, you know, aren't we happy? I thought we were happy. That used to be a, a common saying back in the uh, 80s, you know, in movies. Uh, right before they were getting a divorce, right before, you know, the wife found out. <laughs> Or, or the, well, not all, well, not always, not always the wife, but before you know the couple realized that they were getting divorced, you know, one of them would be like, "I thought we were happy." No, 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 no. no. Um, and see, that's a problem. You know, that's something I would worry about. That kink in that armor of, of me just thinking I'm in la la land and in complete bliss, while you think, "Man, I'm over it." You know what I'm saying? So. But you can't you can't do that if you got a Yorkie. If you just got a little bitty, little bitty beautiful Yorkie, you know you feed you feed them and you dress them up in little clothes, and little clothes like you saw my video with Sher Sher. Oh, I'm gonna kidnap Sher Sher. I'm gonna bring Sher Sher to my house. So if you see me on the news, I'm I'm kidnapping Sher Sher. Sher Sher, you see that video in my timeline. But anyway, um, yeah. So you know sometimes it's just kind of good to be a. A energetic butterfly and just kind of you know see what the universe has for you you know turn up with the universe until you can turn up with someone else